time versus they're in the lane. Uh, because the glaives don't pull aggro, you can just constantly right click him down, and he doesn't really have an answer for it. He'll have a decent first wave if you let him guard down the wave, but as it goes later and later, he's gonna eventually just have to retreat to the jungle, or people are gonna have to re Oh, okay. Alright, so, right, so it's a, a little bit of an adjustment by Secret not wanting to let their mid, game, mid lane just get dumped on like that. So they give uh, give mid one the TA. It's definitely a very nice TA game. Uh, only one here. Covered to the, the top lane. Probably a little bit too much of an issue with that. Yeah. And then off bottom lane. Meanwhile, Magnus. Oh, he's gonna screw, but he brings the MP with him on the Ember Spirit. For auto attack, and then the Maledict helping to tick him down. Still level one, but more than enough damage there. We're gonna actually walk. It'll be fine. Uh, yeah, and then the uh, enhanced skin camping mid with Lim, so try to enable these supporters early on, but the Magnus is definitely gonna be left out in the cold as puppy. Yeah, way too much damage. They not even be level, well, level two, actually. More than enough damage to help assist for the kill right there, and Sinister throwing in some glaives. Everybody, yeah, middle matchup. I mean, T is 10 and 5 and go right. That's actually bottom lane pilot die. Get some support from Poppy the Skewer in though. Will land, but does he have enough follow up? Has a level 2 shock whip. It goes off, gets the kill, but at what cost? Jonas and Fan going too deep, and he will end up dying in Yeah, it should be fine. Uh, but I think the, the amount of times this has gone down is a little bit worrisome for Alliance. He has actually put points into the shockwave, something we haven't seen too much lately. We've seen a lot of players like Moon and Ice 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 who've been playing this match a little bit more in the offline have been going just for like one or two points, scaling up the Empower a little bit more, and then sort of going to the jungle. Is six. It won't be able to free back to the jungle and just uh, try and farm out some items. Oh. Gonna collapse right here. The Omni Slash, all three bounces onto him, onto Casey that is, and Lota will spit on top of him to secure that kill. So good execution as far as the flank position being set up right there. Guaranteeing the kill onto the Centaur, and of course slowing him as far potential. A good mitigation. Middle lane, those signs of this could be a big kill. Will it happen? Global Silence comes out. It's not gonna be enough to save him though, but I might come in for some turn kills. Not enough damage though. The shockwave going through level three, but Hanskin actually does get credit for the kill on Amber Spirit as the Ignite takes him down, running away. So they do get a turn kill when it's all said. So, the lanes uh, are going to be a potential issue for, for Alliance. I think as the game goes a little bit longer, their guy at least has the empower, so he'll be able to shove them pretty quickly. Bottom lane, we do have a possible fight break now right here. You see Fire Blast attempt from Ogre Magi is coming to the flank. Landed on the MP. Do they have more though? No, they do not. Remnant away. Stampede also activated. But yes, they do as the RP coming out. However, Spirit Alpha is getting out of this one. He uses the Remnant, but he can't actually port to them. So well played right there, and that's a nice gank to be had, obviously. So uh, he's in trouble, isn't he? <laughs> he's going to be caught, actually. Getting a little too comfortable right there. I was actually looking at the top of him and pushing in. I mean, how did that even start? Get this like off of this Roshan. I think this is really, really good. They don't want to uh, let Alliance get take a key fight, get this Roach on, and then just sort of walk down a lane, which is really the the best thing Alliance can do right now. Nope. Off out, MP, the first target. Okay, no global science was mentioned, so maybe not as threatening. Roach on just about dead. He's gonna be falling right there. He's just gonna be picked up by mid one. There's an anti style used from Lona. Top of the Syrian chains, counter crush though, or on a juggernaut, trying to chase him down. He popped the Audi slash. A lot of jumps on an MP, no one nearby to help him. And down goes Ember Spirit. Meanwhile, screw it back onto the Centaur. And that's going to be a double kill for Lota. The positioning just felt a little off there. MP, he honestly just seems on another page from his teammate somewhat. Highlight, I also going to be picked. Three for nothing. I mean, they have the Aegis on TA, but super quickly. Yeah. Damn. Second Roshan kill. At this point, now, they do get a pick off elsewhere on the Witch Dock in the top lane, so. And almost got to be in a sacrificial lamb right there, a bait of sorts, but here we go, the eight is up. Gonna jump on a load, oh and comes the RP though from Jonathan Fan, and the shockwave on top of that, the Blade Fury, the science obviously being used as well, and down goes Slaughter, but mid one, he's still feeling pretty comfortable, gonna hide in that melt for the time being. He has the eight, just remember, gonna be popped right here, because this man will lift the back, and obviously it's bounces around, but the freezing field put down, they did pick off Ember Spirit, and now the melt for mid one, but can he actually escape from this? They have no detection. <laughs> they really have no detection, wow. Dockway maybe. No, he blinks, and he's going wow. to actually live. I mean, that's just uh, that's that's definitely a bruise at the end right there. But <laughs> he just brings out dust. <laughs> a lot of he's probably, it kind of fits the theme though. They're going to a lot of these heavy R items and support. You know, you got limp even once you get the plants here with that she does it for. Yeah, they want to make sure they can survive that initial jump from secret. 
they're continuing to hunt around. They want to look for these pickoff kills. So they can maybe go higher ground as MP's pushing into top. So they have a place where they can go if they do take a scrappy fight. I'm gonna force Jeff over the ledge, but mid one still putting in those right clicks. That Shiva has been getting plenty, but not enough damage to really get the support from him. Stampede me well activated the Omni Slash on oh. top of him. The whole time they do get the pick off as well, and Crystal Maiden in the back right now. Loda could be a little bit of trouble as here comes mid one with the auto attack to Saya. Uh, side blades to use. Centaur is picked up with the spin though. And Jonas and Fan helping to finish him off with the RP. But MP on the chase. Lotus still healing up though to heal Ward. Magnus willing to fall in the auto attack. Not in time as he plays. Uh, I think mid one's been playing extremely well this game. Only going down the one time. Yeah, uh, Ignite and the King Curse. Very, very early, early on in the game. But is having kind of a rough start. Has farmed very, very well. Has been super elusive. Hasn't gone down anymore. And it's sort of secrets like Glaring Hope right now. They can push full lines around the map. They can maybe find some pickoffs, even the lines is five as of now. Hey. Go the cheese, making it a little more tempting right here. And immediately Juggernaut starts going away with the auto attacks. Of course, then Empower consisting with the blowouts again. All the buffs. It's gonna happen pretty damn quickly. Meanwhile, what's going on over here? They catch Magnus, actually. That's what was going on, so they give up the Roshan Cut. Could it be stolen? Oh, that was close right there. Picked up, so now the bottom lane, though, they need to push it in. Like the decision for the Radiant side, at least. But Hans gonna get to be done in the front ground. That's a very vulnerable spot. He will end up falling. Double kill for it. One. No buyback, by the way, on Magnus. Slaughter cut off to the side there from Loda. Uses the Yule. But that's going to delay the inevitable. Although the Stampede comes out, the Omni Slice bouncing around Casey, though. He has that Axe, and mitigating some good damage right there. The Glamour Cape used as well, trying to simply live through this. He actually will end up living to spin away from Loda. But Rax will stay alive throughout it all. Now mid one, he's not out of the woods just yet, actually. Yeah, no detection again. Just on them, huh? I guess Magnus was the one that maybe had it. Oh, he didn't even have it on him. Let's Simply can't catch anyone, but they say, you know what, we're here, might as well go for the push. Fresh install a little bit, just split push bottom lane coming out between TA as well as the Ember Spirit, but he can manage his alliance to go into the base, say, you know what, you're going to have to defend, guys, so. Pressure on the melee, Rax, crush attempt, going to miss right there, Loda looking to go back in, but the yield after throws him in the air. Healing more is so low. It is. Getting plenty of damage, healing them up, the freezing field being cast in, but the four staff away. Actually, Slaughter will be fine, so not the greatest freezing still coming out. TA, meanwhile, he's wrecking the racks at the base back there. He got the bottom, and now he's going for the middle tier 3 tower, so the stall's actually working out pretty well. Although the melee racks in the middle lane will end up falling the race racks. We have a bit of a race on our hands now between these two, hand, between these two teams. But Elias, they are going to try to start fall back. TP's coming out. Exactly what they want. Yeah, we're going to catch them somewhat. The global science is used, though. Juggernaut now going back in. The Omni Slash, and he cuts through MP. Gets the kill on him, and he does have a buyback. In one in the background, gonna blink forward though. Try to chase, but a nice fire blast multicast coming out. Although Puppy will stall them a little bit more. Magnus in the background, he has an RP still, by the way. Double kill coming out for Loda as he picks off Slaughter, and now they catch Centaur as well. Rikip is not gonna save him, most likely. RP is still ready to go. He wants mid one, of course. He's hunting for him, but not gonna get the angle. Alliance able to hold this fight, and they're gonna be able to start pushing in now. Yeah, they have no way to kill this healing while everybody's healing immediately back up to full. And he's trying to ride at the base at the very least. The uh, melee rack's coming close to about half HP, but Hotsman's gonna go back and try and slow us down a little bit. They're gonna get two set here. Yeah, they're just playing the game of stall. The RP is actually gonna whip right there, unfortunately. Now, maybe one pops BKB. Go for the turret kills. Load up. We'll fall back again. And somebody for the back that would be the Ogre Magi. So, oh, did the MP get too far up? He did somewhat, but he's able to get out once again. The stall game. It's tempting, but what ends up being two sets of racks going down in favor of Alliance. And the middle racks does stay alive for them as far as defense. Oh. And one of the few viewers that actually does well versus Ember Spirit late game. I mean, can they catch up here? Like this? Oh god, is there a remnant? Actually, they know he's here, the Ill Scepter. Yeah, they will be able to catch him. He doesn't have a buyback, by the way. He's going to be science up with the global science right there. Can they get enough follow-up damage? He has the RP in case. It's not even necessary. No buyback for Ember Spirit. Now, they did get the Aegis in the meantime. So there's a positive, I guess, you could take from it. In fact, who got the Aegis? It the looks Centaur, like Centaur, yeah. Yeah, he, he has a refresher orb as well in base. He doesn't have it on his hero. It's huh. a little unfortunate. So they have the double Aghanims. Um, potentially stall out. Oh. 
DTAing on top of the Abyssal Blade, but he pops the BKB, the Stampede activating again with that Axel out of mitigation, Lotus Orb coming out for the Centaur, reflecting a little bit, but not going to be enough mitigation, he does fall, there's that Aegis in pop though, so they at least should be able to get the turn kill on him, trying to get the Witch Doctor as well, not going to happen, the Centaur will fall again, Good and time. he too is staying dead, you're right, he just bought that instead of the refresher, but he unfortunately didn't even have it delivered, timings are not looking good for Secret. Burgernaut just does so much damage. You can see the TA was able to hit the Burgernaut like two or three times, and it only did like 100 damage. And the Burgernaut just has so much armor with the Solar Crest uh, onto him as well. It's constantly there. From Houndskin having the Vlads, they have so much armor. This TA can only do so much damage. Whenever you're all physical, all single target hero, and they have all these armor items, but mine's well, actually standing. Yeah. That, and might as well. I love this decision. Again, I, they don't, I, either they know 100% or they don't. They've made up the buyback, but obviously that's not the case. They're going right for it to finish the game right here, right now. Pilot dying now. Mid one does port back, realizing that he's not going to win that race. They got to fight. BKB's pop. This is the last stand right here. Out comes the Abyssal Blade. Stun. He's dropping half on the back. Oh my damage of Loda is way too intense. And it looks like they may have just done it. Trying to get the Shrine to help with the Creed's push forward as well. He's going to spin through as the buyback, of course, for mid one. Jumping back in, Puffy's also vulnerable. Look at mid one taking it. GG's being called though. Alliance takes the game. They just got the H.